All right, people, I'm going to give you all a simple illustration of how Microsoft don't give a shit about its customers during the course of their four-year system. All right, this represents the Xbox 360. I call it the Moneybox 360, and this represents the trade, greatness. Okay, in 2005, you made a decision because you didn't think in the future. You made a decision that haste makes waste to go buy a Moneybox 360. So you went out, you spent yourself $400, right? on a gaming system. That's just a DVD player basically, right? Nothing else to it. Just a gaming system. The following year, the tray was introduced to the public. Now these are launch day prices, people. Launch day prices. Now the tray cost you $600, right? But what you seem to understand about the tray, everyone thought it was a lot of money. You got a built-in Blu-ray player, built-in Wi-Fi. You don't have that big ugly ass power pack coming out of here because it's built in. They thought in the future. You see that? The tray thought in the future. Now, the people at Xbox, they seen this and they said, Oh my god, you got a built-in Blu-ray player. Well, we can't do Blu-ray, but we can put an HD uh, DVD player on there. Well, it's going to be obsolete in a year. Well, who cares? It's not our money. They'll pay for it. It's their money. We'll just take it. So, they charged you $200 for an add-on DVD player, even though they knew it was going to be obsolete. And then the bottom guy says, Well, we got to put some Wi-Fi on there. Why didn't we think of Wi-Fi? We didn't even know about Wi-Fi. Then they charge you another $100 for Wi-Fi. You're starting to get the picture now? You just paid $700 for an inferior Moneybox 360 when you could have had the tray. That's got everything, right? Oh, not to mention another $100 for the Xbox Live that you're going to have to pay for. Okay, now in the four years you've had the system, I don't want to hear anyone say you had it under warranty. You had the warranty, but say it breaks down after the warranty expires, which they always do because they always get the red ring of death. You go out there, you spend another four hundred dollars on another three sixty. All right, that's twelve hundred dollars. That's twice as much money that you spent on the Money Box three sixty when you could have just had the tray. You spent twelve hundred dollars on an inferior product, right? That has no built-in Wi-Fi, wi wi has no Blu-ray player, and has no games. No games when you could have had the tray. And then, come the time comes passing. They have a new problem that Microsoft can't figure out. Another one that just arises, right? It's called the E74. So you spend another $400 on a system, right? Now, that's add another $100 for the um, online fee because they charge you to play online at 360. The trade doesn't. Sony doesn't. That's $1,700. Nearly three times as much money in four years on your Moneybox 360. You start to get the picture, then the trade. Three times as much. Then the tray, a system here with no Blu-ray player, no built-in Wi-Fi, and a big ugly-ass block hanging here, power pack, when it's already built into here with built-in Blu-ray and built-in Wi-Fi, because they thought in the future. You see where I'm coming at? You see the discrepancy here in price? Three times as much for a system with no games. Now, I know you're going to sit there and say, why am I bringing this to you? Why do, you, why do I keep bringing these up? But correct me if I'm wrong, for two years y'all came out here and was talking all kinds of smack and you got no games. You don't like eating crow now, do you? <laughs> I know I wouldn't want to eat crow either. Yes, I wouldn't want to eat.